This is chicken chana. It's a fantastic curry. So we've got chicken in there. I'm using breast chicken. And we've also got chana dal. So it's a, a chicken, dal, coconut, tomatoes, and some fantastic spices. It is delicious. Welcome back to How to Cook Greek. Okay, so at the back, one, two, three. Very much equal parts. About three cups of cooked chana dal, chicken breast, no skin, no bone, and tomatoes. Two cups onion, the big four, a uh, teaspoon each, sorry, teaspoon each of turmeric, chili, cumin and coriander. Two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Fresh chili, the amount's up to you. I'm gonna put mine in like that, chop them if you want. Two teaspoons of cumin seeds, and one, two, three, four, five green cardamoms. A few other bits going into this, but let's get on with this first. Today I'm gonna to be using coconut oil in there. I've got three tablespoons, you can, Use a different oil if you want, of course. Let's start off by putting in the two teaspoons of cumin seeds and those green cardamom pods. I've just put the heat on, it's above medium, fairly lively. Just let those whole seeds do their thing just for a few seconds. Then we're gonna drop in the two cups of onion. I'm going to add my fresh chili now. Like I say, I'm putting mine in just like that. Chop it small if you want. Four minutes. Stir often. See you, see you then. Fantastic. Next up, we're going to drop in our chicken. It's like three cups worth. Fairly chunky, as you can see. Breast chicken, no skin, no bone. That's actually two decent sized breasts. We're going to get salt in the mix. And we're going to go for five minutes. Again, staying on this lively heat. Fabulous. Next up, we're going to go with the two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, which is a 50-50 mix of the two. And we're going to go for two minutes. Stir all the time now. Now we're going to add our fresh tomato. So about the same in volume, like three cups. Turmeric, chili, cumin and coriander, teaspoon each. If you want, use a curry powder. Five to six minutes now. Staying on this lively heat, want to cook those tomatoes down a little bit, you know. Stir often. So you can see those tomatoes have cooked down a little bit. We're now going to add in the cooked chana dal. Now the difference between chana dal and yellow split peas is that split peas will cook to an absolute mush soup, whereas these guys will not, but they do look pretty much identical. So these guys will kind of hold their body a little bit. Split peas, no chance. Salt. Two cups of water. We're now going to go for seven or eight minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. That is looking fantastic, that is. Okay, next up, coconut milk. I've got here 400 ml. We're going to lower the heat now. Not on a simmer, but above a simmer. And we're going to let it go for another five or six minutes. Absolutely delicious. Okay, off goes the heat, that's reduced down and deepened in colour slightly. That is fabulous. Check that for salt. We're now going to add a nice big pinch of garam masala powder. Garam masala powder is a nice kind of blend finishing spice, like so. And, of course, cilantro or coriander, whatever you call that. I'm loving this one. Little mix, let me serve that up. And there we have a lovely big bowl 
of chicken chana. I really love that one. Just put a little bit more garam masala on the top and a little tiny amount of cilantro. I hope you enjoy that. You keep safe, you keep well, and I'll see you really soon. Lots of love. Thanks a lot for getting to the end of the video. If you'd like to give me a thumbs up, that does help us out quite a lot with the algorithm and such like. Subscribe if you like, you'll get notified about what we're doing. There's a thanks button if you want to donate. See you soon.